my name is Tom Freston. I am. Uh, I have my own company called Firefly Three. It basically is a little personal holding company. I have various things I'm involved with on the for-profit or not-for-profit front. I consult for people in the media business. serve on several boards, like the Asia Society and others, and uh, that's enough to keep me busy. Well, they're always, they've been predicted to die so many times, but they keep coming back, and I think the reason they keep coming back is it's powerful to set music to some kind of uh, visual story or visual impressionistic thing on television and, and, you know, where people can see it. it. It makes the process of someone getting familiar with a song uh, sort of telescope down. That happens more quickly. It's entertaining. I think it's always going to be a form of promotion. It's always going to be a tool that's in the arsenal. And as radio stations increasingly program themselves more blandly and as physical places like record stores disappear uh, and places that deploy video increase, the music video will always be around. I mean, I think what I have learned in my life is I want to work, look at a job and take part in a job that mirrors a passion that I have. So I'd be looking at what would I be passionate about today. I mean, I am passionate about the media business. I'm probably attracted to the new digital media. You know, this seems to be an area of uh, great uh, experiment, change, entrepreneurship, dynamism, and probably would try and find my way there somehow. I don't think so. I mean, I mean, I'd like to. I, do I want the plumber to come to my house to unplug my toilet? I'd like him to be free too. Why should why should stuff online information and stuff be free? I don't necessarily get it. There's certain reasons why maybe it makes sense and it's good for promotion, but I don't believe in the innate right that something that gets created has to be free. It was created by someone's work and effort and time, and people have proven themselves willing to pay for quality things. I mean, obviously, a lot of stuff is for free because no one's going to buy it because the quality's not that high. The problem with the internet has been. Uh, obviously, you know, a lot of things in digital formats can get passed around as files. And uh, you have a generation or two now that views music as an example of something that's sort of free, some God-given right, but uh, I don't buy that. I had the, be the most important year I ever had in my life was a, was a decision I made to quit a job in advertising, much to the dismay of my parents, and set out on a, on a year trip to go around the world because I really hadn't traveled much. But that was, that was the best decision I ever made in my life because it really gave me the opportunity to, to get around, build a lot of self-confidence, build familiarity with a lot of parts of the world that I would go back to subsequently. Yeah, I would encourage any kid, you know, when you finish your education, take a year off, go around the world, your life will never be the same. So the bug I got then by doing it and the fun I had and the satisfaction I got, it just kind of continues in my life. I, Love the smell of jet fuel, love getting near a plane and knowing I could fly somewhere very, very far away. And, you know, you find yourself able to push yourself to go further and further to uh, some of the uh, darker spots of the world.